crazy. I'm scared. How do I look? Oh, God. You had your ear open. Oh, okay. filming this right now this is something that I've wanted to do since I was like 11 years old and I just can't believe that I'm actually getting it done I am getting a nose job <laughs> I'm having two surgeries done today I'm having a septoplasty and I'm having a rhinoplasty my breathing pathways are messed up so I have a deviated septum so I haven't been able to breathe out of my one nostril like ever I'm like a mouth breather when I sleep at night I also get really bad migraines which a septoplasty could help with that's all internal septoplasty there is no actual cosmetic change to the look of your nose but I've also always wanted to fix my nose I have a bump on the side of my nose that I really hate and I'm really insecure about especially doing YouTube and taking pictures and just video of myself it's really hard for me I'm really insecure because I never want certain angles of my face shown and I've never talked about that ever because it's my biggest insecurity it's literally something that I pathetically cry about okay I'm gonna bring this closer because we're having a personal chat you know also my baby hairs have been going crazy lately my nose is just something that I've been insecure about my entire life I have no makeup on right now but I basically have this bump on the side of my nose I really hate it and I can't believe I'm gonna be posting a video showing it um because like I would absolutely never I don't know I don't really know how to explain everything but I'm really insecure in pictures and I want to be able to have pictures taken of me on my wedding day and I want to have pictures taken of me when I have a baby and I don't want to be not looking forward to seeing them or not even wanting them to be taken because at this point like I wouldn't even want pictures to be taken of me at my wedding because you know like if I'm up at the altar like you just like the angle would not be very flattering. I just hate my side profile. I just want to be comfortable in a room full of people. I'm hyper sensitive, hyper aware of it, if that's a word. You know, I'm like constantly like whoever I'm talking, I don't know. I just don't want people to see my side profile. Any way that I'm, I don't know. I just don't want this to come across the wrong way, but I'm just extremely insecure about it. I was able to get a septoplasty done and covered by insurance. And then the rhinoplasty is not covered by insurance, obviously. So I am so grateful that I'm in this place right now where I'm able to pay for it myself. It's also a good time because it is December 2nd today and I have an entire month before I have to go back to Michigan to college. I'm home in New York right now so I have some time to recover and stuff. I don't know I guess I should have asked you guys some questions but like I honestly feel so insecure even making this video because I don't want to be ridiculed or like made fun of or I don't know. I know there's other people out there like me and maybe this video will help you in some way. It's 11.30 right now. My procedure is at 12.45. I don't even know like how to expose this, you know, like on social media because people are obviously gonna see this video when I post it, but I feel like I should post something on Instagram first. Like, I don't know. I just don't wanna like, I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to do it the right way. I can't believe this is happening. I'm gonna be vlogging this entire process, taking you along through it all day today, tomorrow, and the entire next week until I get my cast off. I'm really nervous. I just really want it to look good. We're basically not changing the shape or anything of like what it looks like from the front, but from the side, um, from the side, the bump is going to be shaved down. And then the plastic surgeon was saying this tip will be, uh, just made proportional with however the nose here looks. I really don't want anything to change from the front. I'm very comfortable with how I look from the front. It's just the side that I don't like. So yeah. I can't believe I'm doing this. This is crazy. I haven't eaten anything since midnight. I'm hungry. I'm gonna go chug some water. It's time for me to leave and I'm so scared. I'm scared. This is the fit for the big day. I'm like teasing it on my Instagram um, because like I want to be really open about it. <laughs> I 
just called and told them that I was here and because of COVID, someone's gonna come out and get me, but no one's allowed in there with me because of COVID, so I'm gonna be all alone and I do so my mom. Everybody say a little prayer for me. Is this forehead just because I'm swollen right here? Yeah. <laughs> Can you picture? <laughs> Hold on. Good. She texted me awfully well, so I was like, wow. Yeah. She's oh, texting me like a maniac. I'm just trying to keep you up there. Thank um, you. You're welcome. The nurse said that. Immediately when I woke up, yeah. I was like, oh, she. <laughs> Hi guys. <laughs> How do I look? <laughs> Good. I'm so happy with the results. I already have a black eye. Oh boy. Wow. I feel like crap. I'm so tired. You look great. I do? Yeah. Thank you look you. amazing. You look so pretty. Oh my. You do? Seriously. Like, I thought you were a little Wow. Hard. I look so scared. You look like a good, good, good model. You can see the little tip of your nose, so at least I didn't take the whole thing. Shut up. No comments. Get the fuck out if you're gonna no, be God. trying to be funny. Haha, uh -huh, you're hilarious. <laughs> Our sister's making me mad. Uh, I didn't do anything. I was just trying to make you feel better about yourself. Don't want it. Be nice. Holy cr Oh, God. Whoa. Oh, no. What if my nose looks terrible? It's not going to. It already looks good. I can kind of see it. Don't look at yourself if you're going to get upset. We're going to turn the lights off if you get upset. Shut up. Yeah. You're not my fucking mom. I'm not a toddler giving me ultimatum. We are going to if you're going to cry. I'm going to punch you if you don't get out. That's what they say. Don't touch that patch. It's behind your ear, okay? Okay. Hi, guys. Good morning. I don't know if this will be considered day one or day two. Day one of recovery. I feel like crap. My eye is really black and I don't know if this one's gonna turn black or not. This was the side that my deviated septum was on that they had to go in and like fix my breathing. So I think that's why I have more of a black eye over here. My dad just brought me some Dunkin'. It's so hard to even swallow but I've been changing out my gauze and doing like this saline spray and stuff. Yeah. Honestly, I'm taking like painkillers the, for like the first couple days and they're helping a lot so the pain isn't too bad i'd honestly say it's like a four day two of being out of surgery as you could see i have some really black eyes i'm taking painkillers that they gave me every six hours that are really helping but i think tomorrow i'm gonna try and stop taking them and just take extra strength tylenol or something i'm not feeling too hot it's Friday. I had my surgery Wednesday and I got calls yesterday about like what dates are going to be my like post-op appointments. I'm getting a little bit more air through my nose. I don't know if that's good or bad but I have some applesauce and I also have a bunch of these that are 370 calories with 30 grams of protein uh, just because it's really hard for me to drink and eat right now so I'm trying to like still get as much calories as I can. You guys definitely don't want to hear me talk when I look like this so I'll update you guys a little bit later. <laughs>
day four of recovery. Uh, I don't have my gauze thing on right now. I'm about to clean my nostrils. You also can't really move your upper lip because you can't really move like your nose or anything. So I have a little baby toothbrush <laughs> so that I can like get up there, you know. I'm about to use some of this nasal spray. Put on a new gauze. This is the first day. Like I honestly have no pain. I haven't taken any painkillers. Yesterday was my first day without painkillers and it was a little rough. So I ended up taking more. But today is like a turning point, I feel like. Not looks wise. My bruising is slowly healing. Pain wise, I do feel a lot, a lot better. Recovery day five. My bruising has been healing a lot the past two days, and so now it's just this ugly yellow green under my eyes. I'm heading to get coffee. First time out of the house. <laughs> oh my god, I look so scary. Slippers on. Dunkin' time. Yesterday, I washed my hair for the second time and I took a bath and washed my body. Honestly, I didn't vlog much on day three, I think. It was Saturday because I tried to stop taking the painkillers and it was really hard and I was in like a lot of pain. But that was the last day I would say that I was in a lot of pain and now I'm feeling a lot better. I'm super, super like really swollen in my face. I'm still in like a little bit of pain when I do like certain movements. Like I can't really move my upper lip. It's Monday, I get my cast off and my splint and like all the packing in my nose taken out on Wednesday. Today is the day I go get my cast off, my stitches out, and packing out of my nose. I'm scared. I'm gonna go take some medicine and then head there. Oh my god. I don't even like want to be looking at myself. So, so as you can see, I'm really, really swollen. Like, insanely swollen. And I'm like very swollen all through here all the bridge of my nose and especially like the tip of my nose even like my nostrils a little bit so my nose looks pretty crazy and i'm obviously not loving how i look i have my stitches were under my nose the stitches were taken out and this part is still healing i have bruising all along here and all along here i'm nine days post off now so i'm a little over a week and i still can't really move my upper lip or my nose like up my upper lip and all this area is still very numb i feel like maybe if i had some makeup on i would be okay oh hello <laughs> Oh my gosh. So basically, when you get a nose job, it looks bigger than your original nose sometimes because the swelling is insane for nose jobs. So if you are unaware, it takes like three months to upwards of like a year plus, some people say, for all the swelling to fully go down. So I obviously look like a blobfish right now. Oh my gosh, she's like very interested at the ca in the camera right now. You can just see, I am very, very swollen. I really wanna upload this video for you guys, like get this video up, but I mean, I'm not gonna have progress for you guys for like months. I also still have a bump on the side of my nose, if you can see, because it's also still bruised. I don't know if you can tell, but he shaved that down. He shaved my normal bump that I had down, as well as like the shaping and stuff. So consequently, I obviously bruised a lot. And I actually sent him pictures today my surgeon and was talking to him about just like how swollen I am. I sent him a picture from the front, from the side, um, and just kind of wanted his reassurance. I sent this message to my surgeon today saying, um, I spoke with a nurse earlier on the phone about my swelling and the bump that is on the bridge of my nose. I'm feeling extremely swollen, which I know is normal, but I'm concerned about the bump on my nose. Will the bridge of my nose become smooth? I'm also just curious what was done during the surgery, just like regarding the shaving and shaping, just for reassurance while I wait for all my swelling to go down over the next few months. Because if you watch videos like this, people are not happy with what their nose looks like when you immediately get out of surgery um or not out of surgery obviously but um when you get your cast off and even just like weeks after getting your cast off up to sometimes months but overall everyone is very happy once all the swelling goes down and he responded and i just feel so much better he said there is still a considerable amount of swelling and bruising that should go away when it does the area will be much smoother there's a healing bone and cartilage that takes time to heal and until it does the area can become quite hard so that's about the bump rest assured i expect that you will be happy with the results in a few months i feel a lot better i mean right now i feel gross i don't have makeup on i feel like my nose looks huge 
Hello, I am four months post off now and I'm really excited to get this video up for you guys. I am still pretty swollen, but as you can see, it's like smoothing out. I still have like a small bump, but I mean, they say it takes a long time for swelling to go down sometimes depending on who gets it done and stuff. So this is kind of what it looks like and I love it. I'm so happy. There's like a look from the side. I'm so happy. I love it. It's super subtle. It's exactly what I wanted. And yeah, I was so swollen in those clips. I didn't even want to post them, but this is it. And I'm so happy. If you guys have any questions, let me know them down below and I will answer them for you guys. Make sure you're following me on Instagram. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss my next video. I upload every single Wednesday and then sometimes in between. I love you and I will see you in my next video. Bye. No.